It's Hannah. And Claire. And we're here at Spur Lake today. Here's the beautiful oh. lake. And we're going to be teaching you guys a little bit about sailing. So today we'll be learning the parts of the boat. When we sign in, we want to make sure our life jacket is on at all times to ensure our safety. These are made by the sailing company Topper and they're ideal boats for one to two campers to sail in. Usually we have kids ages 16 all the way to ages seven in these boats. After we put our life jackets on, it's time to learn the four different parts of the boat. Here at the front, we call this the bow and you can remember this because you bow forward. On bigger boats, other than the Taz, the front of the boat also has an area called the deck of the boat, like we see over here on the CL-16. Now the back of the boat is called the stern, and you can remember that because you steer at the stern, and it's just like it is in canoeing. Another thing to learn is your left and right on the boat. On the left, you have your port, which is easy to remember because port has four letters, as does left, and the right of the boat is called the starboard. So now for the first part of the boat, we're going to learn about the mast. So the mast holds the main sail. And you're probably wondering, what's the main sail? That's the main sail. <laughs> the mast is also connected to a very important part of the boat. And that part of the boat, you know it, the boom. So the main sail connects to the boom like so. And you can always ask another sailor or another camper or a friend for some help. <laughs> when sailing, we don't call ropes ropes. We call them sheets or lines. For example, this line right here is connected to this pulley and this pulley and at the end attaches to this cleat. This specific mechanism is called the boom bang and it is used to make sure that the boom does not move a lot while you're sailing. Further down the boom, we have this sheet right here. This is called the main sheet and it's used to bring in the boom in the sail by doing this. This controls how fast you go when you're out on the water. At the stern of the boat, you have the tiller and the rudder. Now you're probably asking, what are those things? And you probably and definitely will get confused by them. So let's go over those right now. This is the rudder and you basically put the rudder in the water, just like that and it helps you control where you go when you're out sailing. Connected to the rudder is the tiller and the tiller extension. You use these things to control the rudder, just like so. Believe it or not, there's a lot of physics to sailing. By the wind pushing on the sail, what's gonna stop it from blowing off? Good question. This right here is called the dagger board. If it comes out of the boat, like here in the Tazes, it's called the dagger board. Well, uh, whereas in our other boats, that's the CLs, they're called center boards because they never come out of the boat. The dagger boards in these boats go right here underneath this hiking strap. Always make sure that the curved part of the dagger board goes in first so it can cut the water easier. With the wind pushing on the sail, this dagger board counteracts the pressure and allows the water to glide up against it to keep the boat sturdy. The dagger board is also essential for when you capsize or turtle the boat. It helps you get back up and continue sailing. To balance off the weight when you're sailing, make sure you're sitting opposite sides to where the sail is, on the gunnels, which are right here. In bigger boats, there's gunnels and benches, but in this boat, since there's only two of you, it'll be easy to sail. You're going to hop in with your partner holding the front, usually in the water, and you're going to sit on the gunnels just like this. In your left hand, you're going to have the main sheet just like this, and make sure your thumb is always facing you just like a microphone. And in your right hand, you're going to hold the tiller extension the exact same way. And there you are, off sailing. Thank you so much for joining us today on learning how to sail. And we hope to see you next summer. Bye! Bye.